Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. So this is a 100 sub giveaway entry for Tobacco Man 0072. Um, as, I, as I said in the last giveaway that I entered, I don't normally do these. But I've been watching Tobacco Man now for a little while, and, and he specifically called me out on this one, said I should get involved. So, so I am, buddy. Here we go. So there's five questions in this giveaway. which I'll get to in a moment. I'm, uh, as you can probably see behind me there, I'm out walking around in the cemetery. Thought I was gonna get rained on, but it looks like it's just gonna miss me. Felt a few drops, but it's blowing past. And I'm out here seeing what's blooming, and there's some, I think they're called bluebells, if I remember right, bluebells blooming and some other little flowers. Clover's coming up. Trees are budding out. Uh, and I'm kind of walking along this old stone wall here that was built in the 30s. Show you a little bit of a maybe an interesting feature. They used all local limestone and a lot of it has fossils in it. Of course this is all covered with lichen but you can still see some of the fossils. Most of the stone around here has fossils in it. So, to get to the uh, five questions. First question is what got you into pipe smoking? And I give different answers to that questions uh, question on uh, different days, but the thing is, as far as I remember, I've always been a pipe smoker, even when I was a, a kid, way before I ever had pipes and tobacco. It's just something that's always kind of been with me, uh, sort of a familiar feeling. I wasn't around anyone that smoked pipes. I didn't have anyone in my family that smoked pipes. So I'm not sure where that comes from. There was a car passing by there, obviously questioning why I was standing here holding my phone up <laughs> so anyway I don't know why I've felt that way but that's the that's the fact of the matter I don't remember a time when I wasn't a pipe smoker even well before I ever started smoking just like I've always been interested in knives swords axes and firearms don't remember a time when I didn't care about those things or didn't find them interesting. So, but as far as an event or a person, hard to say exactly. I guess what really got me started in the uh, the pipe smoking game was getting a pipe and acquiring tobacco. Uh, I did meet a couple of people when I was. 15 and 16 doing mountain man reenactments, also known as rendezvous, that smoke pipes, and I kind of, although they didn't teach me anything about it, I kind of learned a little bit of the mechanics of it from watching them. There was this one woman that wore a meerschaum pipe, one of the smaller pipe with the, the hand grasping the bowl, amber stem, wore it on a necklace like this, and she smoked some fruity tinderbox blend. And she was the first person that I probably ever actually watched smoke a pipe. And she was a habitual pipe smoker. So I guess I, the first person I ever really watched smoke a pipe closely was a woman. So, but yeah, acquiring a pipe and, and tobacco was what got me into pipe smoking. Um, let's see. Next question. Oh, yeah. What was your first tobacco 
and do you still smoke it? Well, I made a video talking about that, somewhat talking about that, and it was a it was called Nightcap, but it wasn't the Dunhill Nightcap. It was from a little tobacco shop, and the artful codger pointed out from the name and the description that he thought it was Sutliff uh, Tobacco Galleria Nightcap, and I think uh, after I've read the description of that tobacco, I think he's correct. And do I still smoke it? Haven't seen it uh, since all those years ago, 18 years ago or whatever. But I do see that it is still available, so since I've been going back and retrying all the tobaccos I used to smoke, I think it would be fitting for me to order some and see if it is indeed the, the tobacco that I remember it to be. Third, what was your first pipe and do you still smoke it? Oh, there you go. That was my first pipe and I do still smoke it somewhat regularly. Like all my pipes, pretty much all my pipes, I go through phases where I smoke them or don't smoke them for a while, but this one's been in the regular rotation for a hell of a long time now, and it's it's the uh, Tinderbox St. Ives 7160, no other stamps on it. I know the light is shit here, so it's not going to pick it up, but it's really uh, exceptional grain on this pipe, lovely pipe. Smokes well, too. And number four, favorite pipe smoking accessory. That's an easy one. All of it. <laughs> All the accessories, everything about it. But uh, if I pin one down, it's tampers. I've got quite a few tampers. In my average walking around or working or whatever pipe smoking, I really only use the one tamper. The antler and 4570 casing. That's the one that I use regularly. That's the one I tend to have on me. But I've got quite a few tampers. Some tampers that people have given me that I like quite well. Right now on my workbench, there's three tampers that have been given to me that I'll use as I'm out there smoking. So tampers, probably my favorite accessory. And number five was to give a shout out to someone in the YouTube pipe smoking community with under 100 subs. It, it took me a while to find someone because I'm... I don't watch a whole lot of videos lately, more than normal lately, but I'm still not out watching a whole lot of videos, so I'm not familiar with a whole lot of guys that are, or gals that are starting, you know, that have recently started their channels. So what I did was I went through and looked at people who've recently commented on my videos that I don't know. And so I'm just going to give this guy a shout out. I went and watched a couple of his videos. His first, his introduction video and, and another one. And it's Pipe and Spirits. It's the word pipe, the and symbol, and spirits. I think he's at 38 or 39 subscribers right now. He's been around for not too long. A month, maybe more, something like that. Uh, seems like a nice guy. So there you go. Go give him a sub. Check him out. All right, tobacco man, there you go. There's my there's my entry. Y'all take care. Go outside.